video will talk about Benz Jones urine test. What is it? How is it done? And why? Benz Jones protein is otherwise known as immunoglobulin light chains that is found in the urine. It is caused by the excess of antibodies that is spilled into the urine. This test is used to diagnose a blood cancer known as multiple myeloma. Urine sample Distilled water 33% acetic acid Litmus paper Test tubes Beaker electric hot plate and thermometer centrifuge about 25 ml of fresh urine test for protein with sulfosalicylic acid as in routine urinalysis if the result is negative Benz Jones protein is absent since SSA precipitated this protein. If positive, acidify 25 ml of urine with 33% acetic acid using the litmus paper. Note, do not over acidify. Place 5 ml of urine in each of 3 test tubes. To the first test tube, Add 1 drop of 33% acetic acid, 2 drops to the second tube, and 3 drops to the third tube. Place all 3 test tubes in the beaker of cold distilled water on an electric hot plate. Mount a thermometer in the beaker. Switch on the hot plate. Secure that the test tubes are not moving to ensure even heating. And observe for turbidity. If Benz Jones protein is present, at least one tube will develop turbidity between 40 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, but will disappear upon further heating. If albumin and other proteins are also present, these will not precipitate until the temperature rises above 65 degrees Celsius. If a mixture of protein is suspected, heat the test tube having the greatest turbidity to boiling, filter rapidly while hot, and allow to filtrate to cool slowly. If bench just protein is present, it will appear as the filtrate cools to about 50 degrees Celsius. The presence of Benjol's protein in the urine is usually considered abnormal and should raise suspicion for multiple myeloma or other plasma cell disorder. If Benjol's protein is present, it will be precipitated by hydrochloric acid and will form a fine or heavy ring at the interface of urine and hydrochloric acid. A positive test should be confirmed by heating test because, occasionally, albumins may also precipitate. The absence of a ring definitely rules out the presence of Ben Jones protein. Test results may vary depending on your age, gender, health history, the method used for the test, and other things. Your test result may not mean you have a problem. Ask your healthcare provider what your result means for you. Thank you for watching! We hope that you've learned something from this video. 